still mono. There's no stereo information at all in it. Yo, how are you doing guys? So I got a comment on a video uh, a couple of days ago. It was, I think, on the Fusion um, widener plugin versus the hardware, right? And um, this guy said, oh, I actually like the plugin. I like what it does to the vocals. I would use it on single tracks and not on a mix because I don't want to widen my kick and bass anyway. And that gave me an idea to clarify a concept about wideners and why most times if you mix correctly, it's okay to use a widener in your mix. Let's go in the studio. All right. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really want to learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixpress TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish on so many different genres, mastering courses and a lot more. And keep an eye out on the new, very popular format, the live mixing classes. Those are one-offs. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the new feature the super thanks and support the channel let's get to the video all right you heard the premise i don't want to use a widener on my mix on my two bus because i don't want to widen my bass and my kick so basically your low end which is a totally correct concept you want in fact your kick and bass your low end elements to be very strong and free from face problems in the mono channel with that said, modern music, especially EDM and dance and even pop, do have stereo basses. And I have at least three or four videos here on the channel on how to either stereoize or to enhance the stereo field and stereo width of your basses the right way. I'll try to remember to put the links to those videos in the info box down below. But the concept remains, you want your low end elements to be strong, present in the mono channel and free from any face issues. When we use a stereo widener, specifically a wideband stereo widener, for example, the one on the Fusion or the various widener plugins, most of them are wideband, so they widen everything from 20 Hertz to 20K. Although there are some plugins that allow you to select the frequency from where to expand the stereo width of your mix. For example, there's a cool free one that is called A1 Stereo Control. It's crazy that this plugin is free because it's really good. It actually has a safe bass button. When you activate it, it allows you to select a frequency starting from the low end to keep mono. Now, I personally am not a fan of monoizers, and I explained in other videos as to why I am not a fan of it. But company finally start to catch up with what I've been saying for years as to why I don't like the monoizer. In the new Ozone version 10, in the imager has now the recover sides function, which is a better approach to that issue. But again, I talked about this in other videos. So here's another basic concept, but I feel this is another one of those things that a lot of other channels and tutors kind of don't really explain it well. So maybe this video will help a lot of people, even if it's a basic thing. Why, if you mix correctly, like I said at the beginning, it's gonna be okay for you to use a widener on your entire mix. Of course, a little goes a long way because a lot of people overdo it today. Because a widener, a simple widener, like the A1 or the Fusion hardware or plugin, is not going to stereoize what is mono. So if your kick is mono, or even if you have a stereo kick, which has usually the top end only that is stereo, right? But the low end of it, the low end part is mono, or a bass, which again has the low end that is mono and maybe some information in the high mid range, those elements that are mono already in the mix, a widener will not do anything to those elements. If your kick is 100% mono and your bass is 100% mono, the widener will not do anything to it. It will have zero effect on it. And I'm gonna prove it to you right now. So this is a mono kick. Even if it's on a stereo channel, let me play it for you. Let me prove it to you. I'm gonna open a mono plugin, a simple trim plugin, so completely transparent. We unlink left and right, and we flip the phase on one side. So left is flipped, right is not. If we put the pan knobs at zero, we have no sound whatsoever, okay? 
Now I'm gonna put my pans back hard left and hard right like we would have in a stereo mix. I'm gonna open the fusion plug in here and I'm gonna play my kick. Okay, see this line? It's perfectly mono, right? It lights up right in the middle. There's no stereo information. If I turn up my width, it's still a straight line in the center. The widener did absolutely nothing to this kick because it's mono. Because for the most part, aside from specific plugins, what a widener plugin does, it simply turns up the volume of the sides. And if you don't have any information on the sides coming from your kick and your bass, plugin ain't gonna do anything to it. So in this case, again, if you mix correctly your low end and your mix in general, it's okay to use a stereo widener on your mix. As you can see, it does not do absolutely anything to it. I'm just gonna try the other knobs, so space. We can move the shuffle. Still mono, there's no stereo information at all in it. And if I put this plugin on a drum bus, you can see the stereo information here in the meter. Different though is if you use specialty plugins, like for example, Dr. MS, okay? Or even the E major from Ozone. E major, for example, has a function here that's called stereoize. If I engage this and I boost my stereo width, now you have a potential problem, okay? This is not good on a kick because when you mono it, you start running into issues. Now, Ozone e Major is a multi-band, so you can keep this band all the way down where it was and just boost the other one. If you want some stereo information, like I said, at the top of the kick, that's something totally okay. Okay, again, try not to overdo it because this fake stereo thing tend to sound a little bit unnatural sometimes, so just pay attention. Or, for example, we said Dr. MS, so let's bypass all this. I'm gonna put the fusion after it so you can see the meter in here. I'm not engaging anything. But if you use, for example, Matthew Lane Dr. MS, Mono kick again, if I engage the zoom module, which is what creates new stereo information from the mono channel, now you have a problem. Fortunately, the plugin has filters. So if you, again, want to do something like this, you just engage the low pass filter in this case, and you bring it up to a safe spot, like 150 or even higher if you want. In this case, it will only stereoize, so to speak, from the corner frequency and up. But again, you hear, for example, for a kick, that's pretty obvious. Now I'm exaggerating the settings, but... When you do something like this, you get excited at first because, oh my God, it's stereo, it's pretty, right? But listen to when I bypass it. When I bypass it, you realize that on an element like a kick, but pretty much all the elements that needs to be strong in the mix, you lose impact, okay? The more you boost the sides, the more you kind of lose power and that in your face feeling in a mix. So it's always a fine line how much to widen your mix or your individual tracks. Listen to it, stereo, and then we go mono. Okay, and again, there's no right or wrong. It depends on the kind of production that you're doing, the kind of songs that you're doing. But this is basically the video. If your low end is mixed correctly and you feel like you need to use a widener on your mix, you're safe. Nothing bad is gonna happen to your kick and bass. And this is the video. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a like and use the super thanks to support the channel. If you have questions, leave them in the comment down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time.